Today we're fishing for big gag grouper with live pinfish and a piece of metal. So stay tuned, like and subscribe for an awesome day of gag grouper fishing because it's about to get crazy. Alright, there's bite one. <laughs> We're staying pretty put. We are. Yeah, because I'm, I'm in, see that hole right there? I kind of just keep it. My bait's freaking sprinting. Got him. Little gag. Little gag. Oh, no. That's a gag. I was like, what? <laughs> Here we go. First fish of the day, boys. Little gag. Dude, that did not feel right, bro. My, I was like, is this my bait or is this like a little teeny fish? Here we go, little gag. Shallow water fishing, last day of season. Look at that. Ate a big old pinfish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Just let him come out. He's in the rock. I just really want to get one of this freaking jig. Caught bluefin on this, yellowtail, amberjack. Yeah, service iron. <laughs> I thought it was swimming like with what you know those uh, longer baits with the rip on the front. Yeah, I thought it was definitely on the road. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god, he blew up on it, dude. Right there. Oh, he just missed it. He just missed it, dude. Oh, oh my God, did you see that? Holy f Oh my god, he didn't come tight. Oh my god. Oh, he almost came tight on the iron. Oh. oh my god, my heart just stopped, dude. That was a big boy. Get him. He got the pinfish. Get him. Follow up, the follow up. You got that net. Dude, that was the one that came after my iron. That's probably keeper. He's close. Probably bounce him in. No, I, oh yeah. Dude, that would have ate my iron. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god, guys. So basically what just happened, I'm throwing this jig. He swings on the jig, doesn't get hooked. Brandon pitches the pinfish and he eats it. Oh my god, look at that thing. Stole my fish, man. <laughs> Keep calling him in with that thing. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I, I, I had a good feeling. I, I was like, dude. That's the way to go, man. If that's the case, you just got more hits on that thing. I think it's calling them out of their hole. Yeah, dude, just wait. If I don't hook them, pitch a pin at them. Yeah, yeah guys, so right now, the technique I'm doing is called the service iron. This is a technique from California. All you do is just slowly wind it. It stays pretty much subsurface and has a really good swim. But right now I'm getting a lot of grass, so I might go back to the pinfish saddle. Fish on. Oh, get him. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yep, we got him. Little gag. Yeah, he had no chance, this guy. This guy had no shot, dude. As soon as he drilled it, oh, yeah. got him. There we go. It looks the same size as the one Brandon saw coming out. I literally dropped my bait right there. <laughs> I'm getting chased, chased, chased. Oh, dude, Barracuda.
Ow! Gag! Ow! Dude! It's a big fish, dude! Dude, I don't know if I can get him out of there, dude! Oh! He got me in a rock. Dude, I might swim in there. I don't want to lose them. I just I just don't want the, to lose tension on the iron, you know? And then the hook pop out of them. Oh my God, I got him out. Oh. Bro, get the net. It's a big gag on the chip. Look at this gag on the iron, guys. The iron literally popped out right as we got him in the net. This one is a stud. An absolute stud, guys. Surface iron gets it done, baby. Ho ho ho. On a 30 pound mono. Wow. Look at that. Can't believe that. On the jig. I don't think it's any better than that, guys. Freaking surface iron, as I went over earlier, how it works, what it does. Surface jig. And he just came up and crushed it, guys. On the blue, green, and yellow. 29 30 inch gag right here guys on the jig cannot beat that on the iron i know dude <laughs> am i throwing them in here brandon am i throwing them in here ready yeah yeah look at that thing oh my god dude that thing's freaking <laughs> all right guys when i'm fishing a surface iron i like to have my setup be a torium 16 i got 40 to 50 pound mono whichever you prefer but i prefer heavier for gags and then i'm just whipping it like so and let it sit for a second and then start cranking you want this bait to be like a foot below the surface or two feet and depending on your gear ratio how fast you wind and i'll tell you something guys the bite on this is the most exhilarating bite you'll freaking ever get i've had one gag come up so far and miss it well two gags had a barracuda and then a giant gag, so can't beat that. Yeah, guys, always make sure your wind is steady like I'm doing right now. It's one of the big things. It's a nice steady wind, rod tip low. You want a really long rod. This is a jig stick. It's uh, made by Seeker Rods, based out of California. And the longer the rod, the better. Helps you whip it out there. And always a lot of mono because it makes the iron swim better. Get him! Yeah. Get him at. Oh wait. Hold on. Bring him this way. Oh yeah, that's a good one. guys check out this 25 and a half inch gag right here this one came on the tin i had two come off but we got a box full of monsters <laughs> oh, oh. Ah! oh no he came off oh my god he smashed it dude oh dick came off damn it Wasn't, I mean, he was pretty decent. He would have been keeper. Oh, Chaser! He's right! Hey, Chaser! He's right there! Oh my god! Dude! I just had four chase, dude! Get a bait in the water. I just had four chase. And I bird's nest. Get him! Oh, he chased it. He chased it. Watch this. Watch it. Get ready. I'm gonna get bit right here. 
calling the shot. Did he come off or? Did he come off? Like what happened? Oh, he's just holding on. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Go on, Brandon. Go on. Go on. For the net. Oh, that's not a bad one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it's gonna be short again. No. That might be 24, dude. He might take it. He might. He might. We gotta keep him going though. Keep all right guys, look at that right there. Brandon got his limit just like that on the last day of gag grouper season in Tampa Bay. Incredible guys. We got jig bites, we got it all. Bounce around those shallow rock piles. I mean, we're gonna keep it going guys. They kind of figured out the jig was fake here after I stuck that one, but <laughs> no way. Yeah guys, look at this. Madness, madness in the bay. It's howling out here, boys. 23. 23. I think he busted me, dude. He either pulled or, yeah, he pulled. Oh, that one put me right on my butt. Come on, eat it, eat it. Got him. Got him, boys. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Oh. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. What is going on? How are you pulling drag? How are you pulling drag? How are you pulling drag, buddy? Oh. I can just fly back. I don't want to. Oh, look at that gag, guys. Try to turn his head, he just won't let it turn. Yep, keep her. Oh, limit for me. Oh, that's a stud, dude. What is going on? <laughs> Woo! There we go, guys. Another keeper gag. Hey, We're up. Hey. Oh. Look, look. <laughs> no, you. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your video. Oh, was that? There's a boat there. <laughs> keep rolling in on it. You're good. Hey, an another keeper gag. <laughs> Anyway, guys, another keeper gag, guys. Look at that absolute stud in the boat. From the jig to the live bait, guys. This is the best day of gag grouper season, and sadly is the last because they decided to close it for no reason. But oh well. All right, guys. Stud gag. We're gonna see how big he is. Look at that. Unit. Give a measure. Twenty-eight inch gag, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Hog Squad. We had an awesome day in the Grad Groupers and ended amazingly. And, guys, I'm on the Fish Stalkers boat today. So, if you're in Dunedin, if you're in the Tampa area, go down to Fish Stalkers. Their location and address will be linked in the description of this video. So, go check them out. Pay them a visit. But overall, guys, awesome day. Couldn't have had it better. Service iron, live pin fish. It was incredible. Shallow water gags went crazy so it is what it is and i'll see you guys next week on the water peace